Hi guys, Cindy here. Okay, this is just a short little update. Remember uh, last week I put on the base color nail, so you can kind of see one side's pink and one side's white, and I used the Dipped In Pretty Base Coat. Um, anyway, by Friday I was sick of them and I had a real busy weekend. I did not have time to redo my nails, plus I need to um, try to go two weeks just to save my nails wear and tear on. But anyway, they seem to be holding up good. I took the old polish off and I took a cuticle bit and kind of got the rough edges around. And then I used the um, polish that was in the July Maniology box and used it. And anyway, so before work, I kind of want to spruce them up just a little bit more. So i am got some foils. I'm thinking about this one probably because it's got more colors in it. Now this would be pretty too. Um, I'm thinking about the blue though. I think it'll have more colors. Or I could do the black. I'm not in a black mood. I'm not in a black mood. You know, I could put that over it. And I'm not going to, don't think I'm going to do every single nail. Um, I'm just going to do some of them on each hand. So a little bit of an accent. So, um... Let's get started. I got my my Enel, let's see, Enel Couture. Let me move this. Enel Couture Maxi. I thought I'd lost it, but I found it. And so I'm just gonna do a couple of nails on each hand. And if I recall, this wanted you to cook it for um I don't know. It was, I don't know if 30 seconds will do it or not. So I'm kind of hesitant to do it. I'm picking these two nails because they kind of got the little bump from the stickers. I tried real good to file that off, but apparently it left some residue. So let's, did that come on? Is my lamp broke? There it is. So, this is just a little lamp that came in a kit. I believe it's probably, no, it's not the first lamp. Um, the first lamp was, uh, I forgot the name of it. I got it at Walmart. So, this has got blue. One color has got blue and pink and stuff in it. Um, not light blue. I think this one would go better with the purple. So, that's the one we're going to use for those two nails. So, hopefully they'll finish and then we'll try it. And I do not have a little pusher tool like a lot of people use. I just use my fingers. A uh, tool would probably be better, but I don't have one. Maybe once upon a time I did, but I don't now. That would have been way back before we had gel polishes though. Okay, so let's give that a try. I just did those two fingers. Uh oh, I dropped it. So get that on real good. I just use my nail. Uh oh. See how this worked out. There's one of them. And then we'll do the other finger here on the other side. That gave me a little bit of an accent. I thought the purple was a well, pretty color. In fact, I've ordered me some like duochrome colors off walmart.com, one of the sellers this morning. So that turned out pretty. Let's do the other hand real quick. I'll just do the same two nails. The thumb would be pretty, but I don't have time. Gotta go to work. 
This was just something to add a little bit of a accent to it. And then I'll put a top coat. So just this is just one little clip on this. I think it's 30 seconds. So apparently 30 seconds will do the trick. And here's the other two nails. Hope everyone had a good weekend. Oh, and another thing too. My cuticles was just really raw and irritated. I, I don't know if it's because I used a too rough file or the different formula in the base. It's probably because I used a too rough file because not everything was messed up. But like this pointer finger on my right hand, I don't know if you can see it. He was just really um, irritated and hurt all day. And so, anyway, I used I vitamin E and all kinds of stuff, and it just, nothing really made that much difference. It was a pain. But I finally found, I had a little tiny bottle of some sample Curel. Um, uh, let's see. It's in my purse that I got, like, in a Walmart box. And I tell you what, that kind of helped a lot. I felt a lot better. Okay, so I don't want to waste this. But we want the whole thing in there too. So we'll do this finger. I think I've used this before. I didn't know how this was going to turn out on regular polish, but it looks like it's okay. And then we'll just put a, I'm going to put a top coat over everything just one more seal. And I certainly hope I don't have to trim the tips of these today. Um, if I'm tapping on my keyboard, I can tap okay. It's not as fast, but that's okay. But like if I have like one of those little chiclet keyboards or something, like I had to use it, oh, forget it. Like if I have to tap on my laptop at work or something, if I'm taking it someplace, that's a mess. Okay. Uh, Some got stuck on there. I hope that'll look okay. It's too late. It's already there. Okay. This one doesn't look that great, but it's okay. Let's see. I guess it's okay, it's good enough. Let me do the tip a little bit more. So if I pick blue, I think I've got plenty of blue on that. Let me see if that'll stick. That's okay. I'm trying to get a, a little bit of a pattern on here, other than just those blue leaves. Okay, that's good enough. Okay, so I'm gonna just take my Sally Hansen quick dry top coat, or I've got some old Avon. I'm not gonna replace that because I don't buy Avon anymore. We'll use the Sally Hansen. I'm just gonna put on all the nails and let that dry for a second.
Don't need a whole lot. I remember once upon a time I could just barely paint my nails. I'm doing a lot better at painting. It does have kind of a rough texture. That's because of that sticker though, but it'll be okay for a week. And hopefully these will hold out and stay stuck on um um all week long i do have an idea for uh some more nails that i want to do but it's kind of time consuming so i hope when we have time anyway you guys have a great week and we will do nails again over the weekend hopefully bye bye